Hi, you Finn. Hey, Roosevelt. Looks like I caught you in the middle of not working. <laughs> hey, that might be why nobody's watching the show. What do you want, Roosevelt? Well, I was in the area. Just thought I'd stop by and see what kind of magic was happening here in the studio. And I heard Dakota Fanning was going to be a guest on your show. Stay away from Dakota Fanning. I'll try. Roosevelt, leave her alone. The heart wants what it wants, Finn. Please, I don't want to have to bail you out of jail again. Okay, okay, I'll lay off Dakota Fanning. Although I'd rather lay... Don't, don't say it. All right, all right, calm down, I'm out of here anyway. Hey, you going to that party tonight? Carson Daly's party? How did you get invited? You don't know Carson Daly. Uh, maybe not, but you do. And if you remember, the invitation came through my office before we passed it on to you. As your agent, I get 12... 10%. Yeah, 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 that's right. 10% for services provided. And that invitation was for you plus three, so I'm taking my cut. I'm one of you plus three for tonight. Technically, that's more than 10%, but that's fine. I'll see you there. Do you think Dakota Fanning will be there? Get the hell out of my office. See you tonight, friend. Thanks for bringing us with you. It's pretty cool to be here at a real celebrity's house. What is that supposed to mean? I'm a celebrity? Not really. I mean, it's not the same. You know what I mean, right? I mean, Carson Daly was on TRL. You were never on TRL. So that's the deciding factor now? Whether or not you're a celebrity if you've hosted TRL? There's no music. Didn't that invitation say something about entertainment? Yeah, I think it did. I thought that meant there would be music. Maybe a DJ. Or... Oh, a magician. Do you think Carson Daly hired a magician? I don't know, Robbie. Are we at a six-year-old's birthday party? Oh, hey, look. It looks like there's a guy getting ready to play live music. I hope he doesn't play any country music. I hate all the country and western stuff. And don't even get me started on cowboys. We won't. Oh, no. What? I know that guy. Really? Yeah, we took a basket-weaving night class together at the community college. Okay, we're going to let the basket weaving thing slide for now in the interest of finding out more about the guitar guy. What's wrong with him? I don't know, he's just kind of an ass. I can't really remember why now. Hopefully he'll come over here at some point during the party and, and, and do or say something ass-like to remind me why I've always felt that way. Dean, right? It was Dean, wasn't it? Remember me? Neil, from basket weaving class. Yeah, I remember. Hi, Neil. What's up? How's life? It's pretty good. I'm, I'm still working it. Yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Things are going well for me, too. I'm about to play live music to entertain the masses here at Carson Daly's party. Not too shabby, am I right? I am so pumped to be playing at this party. Carson Daly's party. I mean, as a musician, I spend a lot of nights up late writing songs when inspiration strikes, or when I get a girl to come back to my place after playing a party like this one. <laughs> wink, wink. So... I'm pretty much an expert on everything that comes on late night television. Oh, so you probably recognize Finn. Nope, but as I was saying before you so rudely interrupted me, Dean, was that I'm a huge Carson Daly fan. He used to host TRL, remember? I remember. So Carson Daly hired you to play music at his party? No, I don't even know Carson Daly. I got my ticket from my agent. He traded me his invitation to this party for a ticket I had to a revival of Annie. He seemed very interested in the girl playing Annie. I guess he'd like to represent her. Huh, your agent sounds like my agent. Ha, huh, I doubt it. My agent only represents real talent. Big stars. Like I'm planning to be. I think Roosevelt is just a little bit out of your league. Hey, Fen, isn't that your... Just let it go, Robbie. I'm confused. How did you get the gig playing music in here? Oh, it's not a gig. I just bring my guitar to every party I go to. Great way to pick up chicks. I didn't even know you could play guitar. I just learned to play a few months ago. Specifically to play at parties. You know, to score some premium trim. Hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a beer. There you go. That's Neil. Okay, he is a bit of a jackass. But I don't know why you seem to dislike the guy so much. Hey, Dean. Remember that time I punched you in the face? What? No! Sure you do. You gotta remember. It was after basket weaving class one night. We met those two girls who were in class with us, Monica and Kelsey. I talked them into coming out into the woods with us for a little romantic campfire, which would have hopefully led to some romantic humping. Oh, you absolutely refused to go into the woods. I mean, you just flat out refused. And I couldn't get Monica into the woods unless you came to keep Kelsey company. So I was pretty mad at you for getting in the way of what would have been a, would have been a magical evening of hitting it and quitting it. And I punched you in the face. Yeah, I think I remember. You really didn't want to go out into the woods. You seemed genuinely terrified of the idea. 
What's that about? Well, he... Just let it go, Robbie. Yeah, I punched you hard. Though technically because of Newton's law, I only half hit you. Your, your face hit back. I learned that in a physics class I took after basket weaving ended. Well, I better start playing music. This is exactly the kind of audience I need. Famous people who might get me somewhere. Nice to meet you two. Nice to meet you again, Dean. Wow. It doesn't take long to figure out that that guy is a douche. He's just like Sean Patrick Flannery from the movie Girl. <laughs> wow, what an obscure reference. You go ahead, baby, and get your coat. I'll meet you at my Ford Focus. It's the red one blocking a bunch of cars in the driveway. Hey, fellas, what can I say? The guitar thing works every time. <laughs> Look, I'm totally aware of the fact that I'm a dick, okay? What? No, no, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you are a dick. I know, I know. I could hear you guys talking earlier. I have the hearing of some kind of animal with really good ears. Look, I get it. I'm a douche. I found that out a while back when, I was, when it was getting in the way of hooking up with the kind of women I like, the easy ones. So based on what I know about women, I knew I had two choices. I had to either learn how to play guitar or become less of a douche. And learning the guitar was easier. I heard that's how John Mayer got started.